I'm happy to be here now with Julian Riedelbauer, head of the DACH office at GP Bullhound. Um, Julian, uh, thank you for taking the time to speaking with me. You're more than welcome. I'm happy to be here. So Julian, can you tell us a little bit about GP Bullhound? What are the focus areas? Um, uh, what kind of markets are really interesting and, uh, let's say, popping right now? Very happy to do so. So we are running a global tech investment bank, um, advising clients, technology companies on fundraises and exits. Furthermore, we have a second business unit which is doing direct investment and currently investing out of a 300 million growth equity fund. The tech sector is booming now. Uh, I think uh, this is one of the messages that we were able to gather here at one, a 100 conference. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your impressions, uh, why that is and what the perspectives are for the new future? Technology is truly changing the world. Therefore, a lot of investment is getting into this segment. Of course, last year it was a big hype and I mean, more money did go into the European tech system, uh, uh, tech economy than ever before. The sector was booming at very high valuations and of course also sometimes a bit inflated valuations. And this year with the um, inflation, the uh, rising costs of capital, with the um, overall uncertainty about the war in Ukraine, we do have the situation that the market is correcting and I think this overvaluations, this big hype is last year's history and now we are back to reality and I think it's still a vibrant ecosystem, it's still lots of capital that has been committed into equity funds, they have more dry powder than ever, so technology will be um, a big area for the equity funds and I think it still will draw in and draw a lot of investor attention and capital. I had the pleasure earlier to uh, host a panel discussion with yourself and uh, three other panelists. Um, the uh, um, idea of data as an asset was uh, spoken about there, um, but that is something that you don't quite see yet on the balance sheet. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your idea of uh, data as an asset? Data is definitely a valuation driver. So if the company we are advising has a very well maintained um, data pool, data lake, um, is able to prove to investors uh, all customer cohorts, billing data, a consistent marketing database in order to enable very specific behavioral targeted advertising to existing and potential clients and do a lot of CRM activities and really address the potential and existing clients at the right time with the right product, customized. This actually drives efficiency, drives um, profit, drives growth and therefore also valuation. And I think it's, it's an asset, a big asset, not on the balance sheet, but when companies um, raise money or want to be sold, um, then um, it comes down to data quality um, and it's a big asset to drive valuation. Um, you are active globally uh, with GP Bullhound. Um, can you uh, tell us a little bit about maybe where you see some main differences uh, among the global markets? We clearly see that the US is always ahead and is still ahead, but Europe is catching up. I mean, last year so much money did flow into European tech companies. London still as the biggest hub, um, of course not part of the European Union anymore, but still kind of um, adjacent. Um, and um, then number two it's definitely Berlin, very close fighting with Paris, um, and then of course Scandinavia. So we see a lot of hubs are growing and um, these are really global competitive hubs and also CEE region, they have so good software programmers and a vibrant stock market for example in Poland or Vienna is also a smaller but very important tech hub. Um, Southern Europe coming up, Spain really getting a lot of momentum, Italy room for improvement but also gaining a bit of momentum so I think Europe is coming and um, we are here all together building a very important tech um, ecosystem. Uh, what were your impressions of today's event uh, and uh, what are you going to take home with you? It's a very good conference. I'm here for the first time. I was right on the panel as a speaker, so that's very nice. And I had a lot of 
great meetings with investors especially. So I think here you can find a lot of venture capital and growth investors, some private equity, some debt investors, and it is a good, good networking place. Thank you so much, Julian, for your time. You're more than welcome. Thank you for the interview.